Imagine a transfer pad just full of florals and foliage, birds and woodland creatures. Who doesn't love a sweet little woodland creature? Well, the IOD sisters do, and they teamed up with Lexi Grenzer to create this incredible eight page transfer pad called Whispers, wh 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 and Willow, wh Woodland Willow, <laughs> Whispering Willow. I'm gonna share at least 10 ways that I use this incredible new eight page transfer by IOD. I started by just gathering and collecting some items from our basement and from storage. After prepping, cleaning, and base coating all of these surfaces, let's get the first project started. I started with an 18 inch square wood panel, which was base coated white, and I used a template to create a circle. Then I started gathering mushrooms. I pulled every possible mushroom that was in this transfer pad and some assorted foliage and began to assemble them using my circle template as a guide. Here's a hot tip. Take a photograph of your finished arrangement and then print it out so that you can use that as a guide when you begin to assemble your mushroom wreath by applying the transfers that are in the back first and then layering others over top. Next, I used IOD's barnwood planks and stone gray ink to create some additional texture. I apply these more toward the background, trying to avoid the transfers as much as I can. But if I do get any of the ink on the transfers, I can easily take a baby wipe and clean them off. Apply your favorite finish to the frame edge. I added a bit of typography from the discontinued transfer called Label Ephemera and then gave my piece a coat of clear polycrylic to seal it. I have selected all of these really pretty neutral toned transfer pieces because I thought they would look really, really pretty, really pretty with that stripped wood base. And JR has created the insert that'll fit down into that table base. I'll start by giving this 18 inch wood round a coat of white paint and then begin to arrange my transfer pieces, applying them from the back to the front as I go. Remember to burnish the piece completely so you have complete transfer adhesion and then finish with a few coats of clear polycrylic sealer. Our third project is a tabletop mirror. For this piece I chose those very pretty soft pink blossoms and the raspberries. Arrange and then trim them as needed so that they fit along the inside edge of the frame. Once they're in place, I just burnish them and leave them as is. I never apply a sealer over glass because it can make the glass appear cloudy. I can just wipe it with a damp cloth to clean it. My last step is to do some light distressing over the entire frame of the mirror. For this little collection, I have used three nine inch oval wood slices, which I have base coated white. Then I chose some pretty birds and a wood stump and just a little bit of foliage. I often cut apart the single transfer designs to get the most mileage from them. 
These are little quotation pieces that I glued on each of the finished wood slices. Then I gave them a good spatter with some dark brown paint and applied a sealer to finish them. This is a little wood tote box that I'm gonna use as a planter. I've decided that it's going to have a hedgehog and strawberry theme. To get the most use of my transfers, I'll often split them right in half and apply them to opposite sides. If my transfer splits while I'm applying it, I can just touch up with some matching paint. After applying a clear sealer over the inside and outside of my tote box, I did a little bit of distressing with dark wax. For this wall pocket, I've used a bit of pine board. It's about eight inches wide by 24 inches long. I've applied a coat of white paint and then used the Barnwood Plank Stamp to add some really cool texture in the background. This is a rusted tin wall pocket from my stash. I have sprayed it with a shellac based primer to inhibit the rust and then painted it white. And then I just applied the cute little fox and some foliage. And that sweet little hummingbird. Attach the wall pocket to the wood plank. I added a little bit of vinyl lettering seal the piece completely I wrapped a bit of twine for accent and then you fill it with your favorite faux woodland florals or foliage We're getting down to the remaining transfers in this transfer pad and what do I have left? I have a badger and a little bit of greenery, a crown, and so I just decided I'm going to make a cute little sign with this badger. I really made the most of this bit of leaf garland that was left. I cut it apart and reattached it in different ways and in different positions around the board so that I could maximize the impact. Then using the IOD letterpress stamp, I added a little bit of wording onto the sign. When the ink is dry, I used a little bit of gold wax and a honeycomb stencil to add some really cute detail. Then let that dry completely and put a sealer over the entire sign. I wanted to do a welcome sign but didn't have quite enough transfers to get the right balance, so I took the cover of the transfer pad and cut out each of the parts that I needed so that I could apply them with the transfers. It's a nice way to get some bonus material. So I 
created an arrangement and then decoupaged each of those transfer pad pieces that I cut out onto the board and layered them over my transfers. And here I'm still using that same batch of leaves just in little parts and pieces. Add your favorite words or greeting using the IOD typography stamp. When the ink is dry, add a few coats of your favorite sealer. We added an extra touch to this welcome sign by using a little piece of salvaged wood trim. I painted it white. And then had JR grab some screw eyes and a few S hooks so that we could hang the welcome sign from that little wood salvage piece. So there's like 11 projects that I created from IOD's Whispering Willow transfer pad. I'm sure you could come up with 12 more. So I had this one piece left and I just didn't know what to do with it. I, I had run out of ideas. I'm gonna create one last piece and I'm gonna gift it to to my favorite local wildlife rehabilitator, Fuzzy Fawn Wildlife. for the white-tailed deer in our area and she will rescue them, give them medical attention, care for them until they're ready to be released back into the wild. I think Fuzzy would really, really love it. You can find all of the products that I used at our brick and mortar store in Medina, New York or at ellenjgoods.com. Don't forget, if you want to see the next projects that we create with Iron Orchid Designs products, we'd love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss another project that we do here at l j Goods. I want to thank Fuzzy Fawn Wildlife here in Western New York for all of her wonderful video clips. Fuzzy is right here on YouTube and I'm going to link her channel in the description box below.